との戦闘経験はゼロだよ助けてくれよウリーレ Complete change of attitude! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time to watch Free Ren episode 5 and 6. In the previous episodes we have learned more about Brian Pass as well as Fern, her best friend dwarf, ex-companion, have requested a help from her. Apparently there is a land of living, a so-called heaven up the north, just a bit further of the demon log castle to which the whole party set off for a 10-year journey. Now it looks like Free Ren and Fern are on the way to discover the heavenly land, as there is a chance that Freeran will be able to communicate with him out and perhaps see his soul or say a few words to him. So what if she will actually get another chance to do so? Or if she sees him out, imagine the things she may tell him. I hope that will make her feel much better. I hope she won't suffer alone anymore. And since before it was a 10 year long journey for the for the two human companions, Dwarf and an Elf. How long will it take Freeran with Fern and just what obstacles await them on this way? Let's find out from this episode. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thanks. I'm sure she would love to. Her master was a beautiful woman. I truly hope this land really exists. I mean, after all, this is a world filled with magic, so for a place being in between the land of living and dead, perhaps. I think she might be a little bit jealous of that, but at the same time, she's thinking, oh, 10 years of my life, hmm. Well, she's gonna learn a lot on this journey, I'm sure of it. I'm glad she's not about to say that anymore. So. He really did. It's a nice little recap, isn't it? So what, is she like 30 now? Wow. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. Phantom. Phantoms of the dead. Oh, I love her cute logic. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I love how they are supporting each other. So no one can say that this is all very woke anime or something, you know. <laughs> oh gosh, I love the music, guys. So I'm gonna shut up. Oh, yeah. Zombie! <laughs> I love the plan behind her. I'd love to have one. I've seen them in the in the in the in the shops, but uh, I think I'm not allowed to buy more plants because my house is just literally filled with plants everywhere. <laughs> he is one of those people, <laughs> and he's not <now> cactus. <laughs> hmm. It could be a dark magic of sort or vengeful spirits. They exist in that world. Oh god. Oh, that's not good. Let the poor girl sleep a little bit. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a good girl, not like you. <laughs> I love that. That's so cool. Necromancy? Oh, of course, the title is Phantoms. And it's not mermaids. <laughs> Oh, 
Don't I know, right? <laughs> Is she not gonna explain? Hmm. Can she though? Especially when he's not saying anything bad, but actually kind. But it's not true. If she doesn't hurry up, Free Ren will see. No. Why do I feel so sad? Such a clever monster. She's so kind. She's like not scolding her, not saying I'm disappointed that you failed or anything like that. An actual dragon? Wow. But how will she defeat the dragon? Can they? Yeah, wow. Uh, that is a one tough dragon and it just woke up. Don't tell me they're actually running! <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh my god! Free Ren? Jesus. How come she didn't like tell her beforehand? Hire someone to help them. A dwarf's apprentice. Could it be the guy we saw in the intro? The one carrying big axe and red armor. Yes. Intros always spoil. <laughs> Hmm, that's a good point. Uh, Why would she want it though? <laughs> I guess if it's considered a hobbit, just a hobbit. Just what was I thinking? How does he know? あまり刺激されると困るんだ。村に聞け。そう、ブルーン。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。ハハハハ。
<laughs>。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待って。ちょっと待
but he will fight him. Oh my god! <laughs> what has he done? Gosh. Look at his hands, they're so like... So many cuts, you know, you can tell that he worked really hard. I think anyone would freeze against the monster. I'd be terrified. Hmm. Learn the hard way, right? Well, if they... If they intervened, then what's the point? It would feel even worse. <laughs> She's got that bluntness and sharpness and strict um, way of speaking from Freerin, I think. I mean, strict. Freerin is not really strict. It's a nice village, though. Secluded, kind of secluded by the mountains. Oh. She doesn't want to go. <laughs> I'm just surprised. <laughs> He's there. Can you? <sighs> that cannot happen. And they supported him for so long. Oh, yeah, well, no wonder it's a proper childhood trauma. Wow, there's nothing wrong with admitting your fear, overcoming it. That's something. There's a one massive and tough dragon. He thought he was powerful then. Is how powerful he has become? Wow. Oh my god! She said, "Hold off for thirty seconds. Keep him busy for thirty seconds." So just what is she doing? Is she doing something, or did she just say that because? It's beautifully animated. No way! But the dragon is on his legs! <gasps> he actually killed it! <laughs> is that what you're worried about? I can't believe... He did kill it, didn't he? And you didn't even realize? Wow. Well, that's something. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, ridiculous is the best. Ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> so she made like ice creams. Sawatcha <laughs> 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 
くだらんところでフリーレちょっと出す魔法はないよないんだ本当にくだらんな<笑>アイスクリーム made of water and nothing else to have them with うんどうするしてからは uh, that's strange. いい対応ではありませんでしたね。No, it was not at all. I suppose. Suspicious of outsiders, yeah. To pick up lots of trash. <laughs> oh my god! She's so cold! <laughs> Yeah, totally. <laughs> Two years. Can I not just like kind of sneak and throw down? I know, right? <laughs> When I was a kid, I could eat those massive portions in one go. And now that I grew up, I don't. I have to split it and freeze it for later. <laughs> Nothing tastes the same as it used to, by the way. Don't know whether it's because of after COVID effect or... I don't know. Being an adult, I guess. She has a sweet tooth, don't she? We know that. Just a glass of milk. She's not bad, she's a resting face. So they were not. Conomachi, the Nazo, Matsukoto, and Narisota, I got it. I'm a tip to that. What an uncle, my uncle to stop. So, Coelho, who is there? Become invisible. Stick out. Hover up in the air and then fly over. That's what I mean, right? But it might be a barrier there. That's terrible. I mean, terrible to them. Somebody's good at thinking and strategizing. Mm. Oh dear. But why can't they join the army and help them? <laughs> I don't think Freya will appreciate that. Plus, she looks really scary. What if they tell them we've got Freya and the 1000 year old ancient mage? I do like his clothing design. Hmm. Why is he changing subject? Why doesn't he have enough time? Maybe because he wants to go back quickly after the mission ends. To his master. Doesn't look like uh, he has enough time. And then tell him about it. Exactly, that's why he doesn't have much time. But they are going to the land of dead, so he could still say goodbyes to him. We could have told him. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps they want to request her help? But this guy looks super intimidating. 
have to recognize her. Do you know she is a hero? Maybe there is a statue of her somewhere in the town. I have a feeling they will let her pass through. That's a bit of a misunderstanding and stretched. Yes! Just like that! Look at her! She's absolutely shocked! <laughs> so cute! Let me just let her both fall from. <laughs> oh wow! And they're treating them as heroes! Yeah, but... Wow! <笑><笑><笑> that have joined Freer's party and he seems to be extremely powerful which is something that the dragon must have felt even before he's been trained by his master amazing right and they are setting off on this journey he's been led through the city i'm not surprised why Freer didn't think that mentioning her name would let her you know go through the gates because some time have passed and not that many people remember heroes, but still, if she mentioned that she actually defeated Demon Lord and she's on the way there again, you know, she'd be at least concerned and let her, you know, go through. Because she's powerful to look after herself and she's not alone. She has a little party with her. Oh, I'm really curious about the future adventures. Just how powerful is that boy? And me always seeking for hints of romance. What about that? And him. Although I didn't like what she said when she looked at him through the cloths. That was so rude. But then she is Freerin's apprentice. So she obviously has learned certain ways of speaking and thinking from her. <laughs> Being blunt and sarcastic and cold. A little bit scary. Although Freerin's not scary at all. She looks so peaceful and kind. But yeah, Fern can be really intimidating, don't she? <laughs> I wonder how old she is at this point. I'm guessing she's at around 30 year old. I'd be curious to find that out. Anyways, as always, thank you very much for watching with me. And I guess I'll see you in episode 7. Bye! A massive thank you to my Patreon Isaac, as well as our Patreons and channel members, making me feel happy and appreciated. If you would like to join my Patreon family, the link is in the description below. You can find there over 100 videos in 100 opacity and uncut length. I often post weekly updates, so you know where I am with my schedule, you receive personal messages, access to the voting polls, or you could get a shout out in my YouTube video. Whereas, if you are interested in having early access to my YouTube videos and a special badge, you might consider joining my youtube membership have a fantastic day and see you on the next video bye